So I want to pick your brain about how young people see our president. I mean, is Nixon even on the level? I mean, what about that Watergate breaking? Mm. You know what I call Watergate? That's phony news. I turned 12 in the summer of 1972, an awesome time to be a kid. Bike helmets hadn't been invented yet, or car seat belts, or even normal adult supervision. Mommy, my lungs are I have asthma. No, you don't. We can't afford asthma. That's just small. Go back outside and play. My mom was busy running the house. She had a lot on her plate. There were eight of us kids, all boys. Sometimes the sleeping conditions weren't the best. Good night. We had a full house with Lawrence back from college. Pride and joy of the family, studying to be a priest. What's that nonsense? It's just hair, Mike. I kill for all that curl and bounce. Thinking about not going back to the seminary. If you don't join the priesthood, they'll definitely make me. Just tell them now. I've got a girlfriend now, and she's really cool, but not so cool that she'll keep making out with me once I'm Father Eddie. And then there was me, the forgotten middle child. I felt more desperate for attention than ever. I am I, Don Quixote, the Lord of La Rocha. Hey, what is this? Just having fun. Whoa, stop that. What are you really doing? I'm auditioning for a very prestigious children's theater in Hollywood. Mom! No! Why can't I? Because nobody's driving you to Hollywood to be in some ridiculous show. Look at me, I'm special. Yeah, no, sorry. We did not have the wherewithal in this family for any of you kids to be special. Mom, this is my girlfriend, Wendy. How on earth would Eddie get a girlfriend? Lots of kids our age are going together. Yeah, but not with Eddie. I have more money than this. I've given some thought to your money problem. My problem is you stealing my money. <laughs> You're really going to have to let that go. Dark! I don't care what any of my kids do, as long as... I know, as long as they're happy. I don't even care about them being happy. I just want them around. Oh, there's cat poop in here. People say the times we're living in now are tense and divisive, but so were the days of my childhood. My dad worked his whole life in a coal mine. He scratched at the earth for a living. I want my sons reaching for the stars. But I think back on my ridiculous family and it gives me hope for today. Get a haircut! You haven't ventured outside in days. You're gonna get rickets. Mommy? Will I get rickets too? Pat, maybe.